Hi guys, just a short video showing you um, how some of our clients are now using the PDF generation on more than just the quote entity. Um, hopefully you'll be familiar with the fact that in the sales hub previously, we had the ability to create a PDF or email to PDF in the ribbon on a quote. Um, the new feature um, has allowed us to enable this on more than just the quote entity now. So if I just say click on here, apply this to the contact entity. Then if we flick across here to the contact, you now can see the email as PDF or create PDF options. Now for those not familiar with how this works, previously you can obviously upload some word templates to the database, um, keeping hold of the master copy of that if you need to make any tweaks down the line, and you could just run it as a word template previously obviously you'd have to download that save it locally and then add it as an attachment to an email but the new feature allows us to now do this you know straight to PDF from here if we need to or if we click here email as a PDF you can see it pulls in that word document so this is on a contact it might be sort of a patient letter or something like that just by clicking on here what it does is it then loads the email um, you know like a blank email template you can see it adds the PDF attachment just over here and just on the normal obviously sending an email from the from dynamics now you have a lot more options down here in terms of customizing the font sizes and you know the formatting of this the styles and everything else which you, you know is better than it used to be previously you've got the HTML code here if you need to and you've got a preview option um, so you can mess around and you can type the email out from here equally if you wanted to come up here and insert a template you could have some predefined templates in the database that you can then select from so if I pick say one of these contact me connect it just tells you yeah you're gonna be replacing the subject line and the message and then you can see your predefined template then comes in subject line and then dear you know however you've configured this to be um, by doing so, you obviously then you can have this and your signature in here. If you need to then change your signature, you can click insert signature here and change that to be from somebody else. It might be from a group of mailbox. You've already got a signature in the system stored against your, your user card. Then you can have multiple signatures in here if need be. Um, so that's how we normally just do an email. Um, but now leveraging the email engagement features of Dynamics, automatically because we're sending this email from the system, you know, I could quite easily just click send here. It's automatically going to be following this email. So that means we'll be able to see in a second, you know, when this has been opened and when it's been clicked and anything that's happened with the attachment that sits over here as well. A couple of things that we can do in the email engagement now as well. We can click send later. So we can then specify a predefined time that this needs to go out and not immediately. Equally, we can click here, set a reminder, providing the end, the user here is allowing us to follow them then there's a couple of things you can do in here so we set reminders so that they do not reply to this email we set a reminder if the email has not been opened um, or we can just set reminders to always remind us at a certain point in time and put some notes against that obviously if you set that reminder before you send it obviously if you send it now or you send it later you then just send the email and then once the email has been sent and you've got all your details in here over here then you'll see all the, the, the things that you've put here to set your reminder for but you'll then see these so you'll be able to then see how many times the email has been opened if that attachment had been clicked on anything if there's any links that you had embedded in the email as well and now because we're actually following this and we've set a reminder against it against the individual contact that we've sent this against as well the relationship assistant down here on the right hand side will be able to then see the analytics around this so you can see your email is just opened and it would tell us that it's been opened on this time and day obviously you can set over here you can snooze these or you can dismiss them um, you can click straight into open email from here this now all appears again if you've got that on your dashboard you can see that as well equally if you're using the relationship option up the top here you know this is looking at all of your other things that you've got set up so opportunities that have had no active insert parameters and time frames but you can then see the reminders that you set against these emails appearing here as well. And straight away from here, you can then go straight into there. Let's open email, pops up as an alert. 
then you're back to that original email that you originally sent out and looking at the analytics around that. Thanks for listening, guys.